Pets become not only our friends, but for some, they become real guardian angels, ready to give their lives for their owners. There are a lot of stories in the world in which animals save people, not even thinking about their own safety. They bravely throw themselves into fire and into water just to save the one who has become their family. Not every person is capable of such an act, and they do it without expecting a reward, simply because they love a person more than themselves, love them more than their own life. The hero of our story today was an eight-month-old Malaysian puppy who, despite his young age, managed to notice the danger in time and save the whole family from inevitable death. The family, which consisted of a wife named Vimila, husband Marimut, and three children, loved their new Malaysian puppy very much. The children were crazy about him, played with him all day long, and the puppy was very cheerful and friendly. He was ready to play all day long, like all puppies. One early morning at about five o'clock, the puppy behaved very unusually, but Vimila did not immediately understand the behavior of the puppy, and this could have ended very sadly. Vimila was sleeping peacefully in her bed with her husband when the puppy stood on its hind legs near her head and began to lick her face. The woman waved the dog away, thinking that he was once again calling her to play. The woman pushed him away, saying that it was still very early and she wanted to sleep. Turning on the other side, the woman quickly fell asleep again, but the puppy did not stop waking her up. He began to pull at her and whine plaintively. The woman waved the dog away again, yelling at him to go away. But the puppy did not give up. He began to bite her hands, pull her pajamas, and whined the whole time. Then Vimela thought that perhaps he wanted to go outside, but she did not want to get up, so she asked him to wait until morning and be patient. The puppy ran out of the room, but then came back and began to bark loudly. Fearing that he would wake everyone up now, Vimela finally got out of the bed and went to see what he wanted from her. But when the woman left the room, she came face to face with a terrible thing. In the middle of the hall, a fire was blazing, and the smoke quickly spread throughout the house and filled all the rooms. The woman ran to the children's rooms, quickly woke them up, and raised the children from the bed, then ran after her husband. It was getting harder and harder to breathe. The acrid smoke literally covered everything. The fire had already spread to the walls and ceiling. A few more minutes, and the whole house was engulfed in flames. Vimilla barely managed to get her husband out, who, by the way, had recently suffered a stroke and could not move quickly, and all three children. As soon as the family left the house, the ceiling collapsed. Fortunately, none of them were hurt. Nobody except the dog. The puppy was the last one to run out of the house, only after he was sure that the entire family was safe. He suffered numerous burns and fell helplessly to the ground a few steps away from Vimilla. She carefully picked him up and held him while the firemen put out what was left of their house. After everything calmed down, Vimela took the puppy to the veterinary clinic where his wounds were treated and bandages were applied. Veterinarians prescribed the dog a long-term treatment as his body was covered with numerous burns. All this time, Vimela, her husband, and children did not leave their savior. They carefully treated every wound on his small body until the puppy fully recovered. But let's go back a bit. After the family's house burned down completely, they had nowhere to live and nowhere to go. The whole family suddenly ended up on the street with a sick dog in their arms. Fortunately for them, their story very quickly spread throughout the town, and the local politician was very touched by the courageous and heroic deed of their dog. He gave them temporary housing and organized a fundraiser so the family could afford new housing. When the fundraiser first opened, Vimilla and her husband made a statement that if they raised more money than needed to build a house, they would donate the rest to local animal shelters. The couple were so grateful to their pet that they did not want to leave other animals of the town in need. After all, if that morning he had not so persistently awakened his mistress, assessing that they were in danger, this could have turned into a very sad story. And if Vimilla had understood right away what her pet wanted from her and got up to check, then perhaps such a large-scale fire could have been avoided. Yes, situations often happen that our pets can be overly intrusive. They may demand more attention than we can give them at that moment, but sometimes it's worth being a little more attentive to their requests. Perhaps at this very moment, they are trying to tell you something very important. They cannot talk, so they act as their instincts tell them. They bite, push, and bark. But they do all this only because they love you very much, and they are afraid of losing you more than anything else.